you teased that there was gonna be like a shocking amount of cliffhangers in Emily in Paris season three, and man, did you deliver. <laughs> My goodness, I mean, I'm gonna go down the list. Can me and Gabrielle's wedding, off. I'm sorry, I really am, but I can't marry you. Kemi is pregnant, congratulations. Uh. <laughs> she came back to tell me that she's pregnant. Alfie breaks up with Emily. I'm nobody's second choice, Cooper. Now go get your man. Emily and Gabrielle finally admit they have feelings for each other. And there's still a few more that I didn't even mention. Your feelings for me? They've always been there. It's been hard for me too. So I want to know which cliffhanger shocked you the most. Oh, the pregnant one. Yeah, yeah. I was like, the Same. baby? Because now it's like, oh, there's a baby involved? Like, yeah. we're all in over our heads. <laughs> I heard all the endings and thought they were like alts. Then I realized yeah. they were all, all the endings <laughs> at one. And I was like, wait, there's a wedding? And then there's a wedding that doesn't happen. Or there's an engagement <laughs> that turns into a, a, a wedding, which turns into a non-wedding, which turns into a pregnancy announcement, which turns into like, what the? Well, that's yeah, like, what I Camille's storyline at the end is like, what? You know. Emily and Paris baby. <laughs> oh my God, what's going on here? It's like, you know, okay. Uh, yeah, that was like, whoa, that's a big one. I think that the biggest shock for me was, um, was Cammy at the altar kind of giving it to Gabriel. Mm. That was kind of, whoa. And her performance in that was truly, Stunning. Mm. It puts you on a hell of a cliffhanger to see what's gonna come next. Obviously, I don't expect that. Yeah. And I think now what's gonna happen for Gabriel, for Camille, for the other girl, yes. for, you know, it's a mess. Like, it's sad for Halfie, but like, finally she's with Gabriel and like, and boom. Ah! When I read it, I was like, oh, okay. Season four is gonna be funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From the moment we get into that church, uh, it's just what? One uh, or another. Wait, sorry, um, give me. Uh, I'm <laughs> suffocating. Okay, I'm back. Wait. Okay. Uh, it feels like a big uh, firework. The way Alfie leaves the church is very strong. The way Camille leaves me on, at the altar, and that last scene with Emily is just. We were so focused, you know. And when Darren told me, you have the last word this season, I felt invested with a mission, you know? I felt like my country is behind me. <laughs> I won't deceive. <laughs> it's always very alive on set, on, on Emily, and that night, you could hear the flies, yeah, on, and the, the moon was full, and we were yeah. just in silence. What a mess. My goodness, we finally have an opportunity for Gabrielle and Emily to give it a real shot. Do you see them doing that in season four, or do you think she should go fight to get her man Alfie back? I don't know. Emily has had to fight to win Alfie back once, yes. so I don't know if that's gonna happen again. I don't know how Alfie feels about that. I don't know where Gabrielle sits because we've expressed feelings, but there's a baby on the way. There are so many unknowns that I think the, the, the representation of Emily's face at the end of the season, which was just so filled with emotion that it ends up being just quite blank. You and I spoke, Lucas, in, in April, and yes. you said I am 100% Team Alfie. Yes. I'm 100% Team Alfie. Are you still Team Alfie or have you switched? I think uh, Alfie brought this antagonist perspective on Paris because it doesn't buy into the hype of Paris. Mm. So I feel like he, he kind of he leveled Emily back to a, a very normal, it made her more French and Parisian and less impressed with the architecture and, and, the, and the ways. And I like the dynamic that he brought uh, into the shows. And, and also Lucien is brilliant in this, in this role, so. You told me in April that you were very much Team Gabrielle. Yeah, I'm Team Gabrielle, 100%. You seen his eyes? His eyes light up the room. I'm Team Gabriel. You are I'll, still. I'll be still. I'll be still Team Gabriel, but I just want her to be happy. She deserves, she deserves to be happy. Yeah, good and diplomatic yeah. response. Yeah. I'm on Team Love, which oh, is a little corny, but true. Yeah. Team Emily, Whatever figure it out. Whatever work you know, for the best. <laughs> we want Emily to be happy. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's think, going on? I think all those relationships are toxic. They should <laughs> just. <laughs> Get away. Start over. Get away from each other. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a man. What is wrong with yeah. these people? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, we want them to sit in the same circle so we get drama. You know what Correct. I mean? Correct, yes. She's in love with Gabrielle. Mm. Deeply. Okay, so you're Team Gabrielle. Yes. Okay. You just want Emily to be happy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. That's what I tried to say. Yes. Thank you for the help. I'd get Alfie back. Gabrielle doesn't know what he wants. Ooh. 
I like that. But you push indecision away. When people are indecisive, like, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah. My Alfie is it. super clear. He's super it's charming. Super and charming. And I think that that's why sometimes people are like, mm, I don't know, Alfie, is he too charming? Is he? But he is so charismatic, grounded. charming. Yes. Yeah, but he is very grounded. And he's like, I know what I want. Mm -hmm. Super clear. So choose the guy always that knows what he wants. As a mother, yeah. I would say, choose Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? We're going to Eurovision. Well, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we not only have your love triangle. Congratulations, you're now in the, the love triangle club. <laughs> I know, and Mindy's been Welcome laughing at these group. guys for two seasons being like, Let's guys, figure it out. And now she's jokes like, oh, on her. That's yeah. Jokes yeah. on her. So like you mentioned, you know, things are going well with Nicola, but like now she's got this Eurovision opportunity with Benoit. Where do you see Mindy's heart at going into season four? I really don't. I really don't know either. Like that, that's that's the big question. Obviously, we. I, I love that we got to focus on this like relationship and deepening that in the second half of the season, and not so much in the music world. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of all, these guys all need to catch up and figure <laughs> out what is going on. So I really don't know. I really, yeah. I'm just excited for Eurovision. I know. Well, yeah, we'll excited. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there gonna be a baby in season four? Is Gabrielle about to become a father? How do you see that storyline playing out? Well, I think Gabrielle, I think it's very clear from in season three that mm. that's a, it's a big dream of his. Totally. He wants to be a father, and I think he he's exci was excited and is excited about the idea of fatherhood. But you know, our show doesn't, it doesn't move that quickly. It's six months of actual time, so. I'm I'm not sure we I, I'm not sure we're gonna actually see a baby in season four. Interesting. But I think that we're gonna have to deal with the prospect of a baby. Yeah, the another belly. Yes. From, from Kate to Kimmy. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, Amazing. Yeah. They'll, they'll all wear the bump beautifully. <laughs> yes, not not so fast though. Not so fast. <laughs> not so fast. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna be wearing a baby bump in season four? <laughs> Are you ready for an Emily in Paris baby? Uh, I hope not. You no. hope not. Why? Um, because I I don't know. I'm, for the fashion-wise uh, thing, I think it's better to be, I don't know. Have you I seen Kate? Yeah. yeah. Kate, Kate, okay, uh, Kate is rocking it, but it's huge, so it's cute. When it's just a little bit, I don't think, I don't oh, know. Oh, you will no, no. look so good. I don't know. We'll I, see. Maybe it'll be like fast forward in a year and we'll just have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's like a casting call for her Or maybe thing. it's twins. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> stop it, guys. Yeah, well, welcoming a little, a little baby to your set. I mean, is that something that excites you? Uh, not at all. You know what? I did a I shooting once with a baby, and it's I hard. think that's very hard and stressful because I'm always uh, very afraid to hurt it. Oh, you and, would never. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I kind of deal with babies. I love them, but I don't know how to do it. All right. Well, buckle up, oh, mom. Oh, you will kill. Buckle it. up. No, but I mean you won't. You'll. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll do a great job. That's, That's what, what I she meant. meant. You'll do a great job. <laughs>